Uh, my name is Jogo Bedwell, Corporate Sales Manager at Remit Training. Yeah, I'd say knowledgeable, relentless, determined. First job was a pot washer um, in a restaurant at the age of 16. So a split between two, so I had a, a university lecturer who taught us some very, very hard life lessons. And secondly, one of my first managers in this industry, a lady called Debbie, who just got me focused really well on what I should be doing. Yeah, do, when doing something, do it wholeheartedly. Put every ounce of effort you've got into it, for sure. Um, worst career advice? It's a dangerous one. Do a degree. Um, that's probably the worst thing I did. In a sense of happy with the achievement, but just never used it since. And I feel like I wasted four years where I could have been working um, and creating my career at that point. Um, at a very young age, I wanted to be a binman, uh, watching them come around the streets. As I grew up slightly, it was fireman. Binman, I used to sit and watch. As a, as a kid, I'm talking just after a toddler age, four or five, maybe sit there and I was fascinated. They'd come around in these bright jackets, grab a bin, chuck it at the back pull it down, put it aside, and they came with this massive lorry, which as a kid, young boy, lorries were the best thing in the world. That, that's what did it. I'd go outside and watch them. Um, slightly, slightly by accident. So I mentioned I was a pot washer early on. Um, I spent another five years in that industry, went all the way to general manager um, of restaurant. Um, I then decided to give my hand at sales in a commission only job selling life insurance, which is slightly difficult. Uh, just to see if I could do it, if I'm honest. Um, my next role after that was in apprenticeships and I've been there ever since. Uh, it tends to change. I'm generally an early bird. I'm up normally about 5.30, um, gym, a little bit of meditation, things like that. Um, but there's weekends, yeah, very late. <laughs> Delegation, um, in terms of delegating to others. Probably one of my weaknesses as a person. I tend to do things myself a lot, but letting other people help and taking their ideas in is a, is a big part of success in business. Uh, my determination for sure, it's never let me down. Um, it all goes together with kind of doing things wholeheartedly, don't let things go. Um, and a lot of, well, in my sense, a lot of the sales I've made over time have come from being sheerly determined and talking to people and. Not letting something go, that, that doesn't go on the borderlines of harassment in that sense, but just making sure the right information is getting across to the right people. Uh, it's a common mistake to let things go very quickly. Uh, my drive, my drive to succeed I'd say. Um, no one wants to be second best, I certainly don't want to be second best and wherever I've been in my career, there is that slight bit of passion behind closed doors to be the best salesperson in the, in the business or in the organisation. So, going back a little bit, but it was such a crowning achievement from my point of view. So, it was in apprenticeships, uh, 2013 I believe it was the year. So, I created a partnership with a train company called Southern Railway, which you may have heard of, you would have heard of in London anyway. And we managed to put through 1,400 learners in the space of two years on different qualifications, customer service, some rail type ones and some management. But that led to creating an academy with graduation ceremonies, um, prizes handed out and all kinds of things and just the whole sparkle around that event and, and what we created for that organisation still to this day is my, my crowning achievement in this industry, for sure. Um, that we're annoying um, and that we just kind of contact inconveniently when really all we're trying to do is create the right message for, for the youth of the UK more than anything else. We're trying to create opportunities for them, where opportunities may arise, and I suppose we have to talk to people to ensure that that is there. Uh, we certainly don't want to be hounding or harassing anybody, but it's, it's one of them situations. It's our job at the end of the day to talk to people. Um, and there's many more kind of opportunities coming, uh, but that's the biggest misconception for sure. Right now, a little bit of both. So I'm generally home-based, but I'm tending to spend two to three days in the office a week at the moment just to be with the team and be with the colleagues and since Covid's passed it's actually really nice to be a part of a team and, and have everybody around you and kind of spur everybody on at the same time. The chance that it gives younger people is second to none. There's no other, 
There's no other thing like it in that sense to, to be able to get that hands-on knowledge by working for an employer, but to be trained at the same time on a kind of theory base, um, it's, it's the best opportunities. I mean, there's some really big success stories out there of people I've placed probably six or seven years ago that are now managers in their industry or still with the same organisation, and, and that's the best thing, the, the level of opportunity that's available to people. Um, I would have taken an apprenticeship after finishing completing college. I, I kind of value the college education. I did a, a BTEC in IT, which is very similar to an IT apprenticeship at that time. But apprenticeships in my day when I was there, I'm slightly older now, they weren't as well known as they are now. Um, so I, I naturally ended up at university and kind of mentioned earlier, did something that just completely didn't need to be done basically.